In this video, we are going to discuss about the miRNA and its processing. miRNA, aka microRNAs, are small single stranded non coding RNA molecules. These molecules are typically 20 to 24 nucleotides long. Despite their small size, they play a significant role in regulating gene expression at the post transcription level, primarily in eukaryotic cells. One of the key functions of miRNA is regulating gene expression after transcription. miRNAs regulate gene expression through three main mechanisms. mRNA degradation. miRNAs can bind specific RNA molecules, marking them for degradation. This prevents the mRNA from being translated into proteins. Second is translational repression. Even if the mRNA is not destroyed, miRNAs can block its ability to produce proteins by repressing its translation. And third one is fine-tuning gene expression. miRNAs do not always completely shut down gene expression. Sometimes they fine-tune it to ensure the right levels of proteins are produced. So these are the three basic mechanisms by which gene is regulated. Now let's list the biological processes in which mRNAs are involved. We see these molecules are involved in cell differentiation and development, control of the cell cycle, role in cancer, and immune system modulation. Now let's get into the detailed mechanism of miRNA processing. Here in this diagram we have the nucleus and the cytoplasm of the cell. Within the nucleus we have DNA. This DNA is acted upon by enzyme that's RNA polymerase 2. And we get the primary microRNAs as shown in the diagram. Now this primary miRNA is taken up by the drosha and DGCR8 complex and cleaves the primary miRNA into pre-mRNA that's precursor miRNA. If we see the details of cleavage, we see the drosha acts as an RNA enzyme 3, whereas the DGCR8 acts as a cofactor. We see the RNA3 part of drosha cleaves primary microRNA. And then the DGCR8 cofactor recognizes and binds the primary microRNA. And from this event, we get the precursor miRNA in hairpin like structure. Now, getting back to diagram, we see the precursor miRNA gets loaded to export in 5 protein as shown in the diagram with the help of RAN GTPase. The precursor miRNA is then exported to cytoplasm with the side complex as shown in the animation. Now we see within the cytoplasm we have the precursor miRNA. This precursor miRNA is loaded off and exporting 5 gets back to the nucleus. Now within the cytoplasm we have the precursor miRNA. And then the dicer comes in and binds with it as shown in the animation. Dicer protein does three things with its three domains. We see dicer has RNA's three domain, pass domain and double stranded RNA binding domain. The RNA3 domain cleaves double stranded RNA. PAS domain recognizes 3' overhang, and the double stranded RNA binding domain assists in RNA binding. And alongside of DICER, we have DICER associated RNA helicase also there. This helicase cleaves the precursor miRNA into its mature form. The unwinding of miRNA duplex is also supported by this helicase enzyme. Now at the end of this process we have mature miRNA. This mature miRNA is incorporated into protein complexes such as RNA induced silencing complex RISC in a process called risk loading. This complex then binds the target mRNA. Here we have the risk complex. It has three important structures. Dicer, PRBP protein, AGO2 protein. The dicer cleaves the precursor miRNA. TRBP stabilizes dicer and assists us in RNA binding. And AGO2 does maturation, guidance, repression and cleavage. We see after risk loading, the miRNA is targeted to mRNA. If there is a partial complementarity, we get the transcriptional repression. Whereas if we get the near perfect complementarity, we get the cleavage of mRNA. So this is how miRNA is processed by Drosha and Dicer. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.